guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark, and here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do unboxings like this, I'll do what's sold videos, I'll do all that good stuff, so if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So in today's video, I have a thread up box. I have probably my favorite thread up box, which is their denim DIY rescue box. I love denim. I know some people don't like to photograph pants, aren't big fans of jeans. I get it. For me, it's relatively easy. Um, and I don't know, I love denim. Denim really never goes out of style. Obviously certain styles come and go, but in general, denim is a pretty good bet. But yeah, this box costs $60 with $5.99 shipping, so about 66. It's for 50 pairs of denim. Um, the shipping said it was 51 pounds, so maybe they threw in a couple extra, hopefully. And it came from Arizona, which I definitely know people have a lot of opinions about where the best boxes come from. I used to think Arizona had the best boxes. I know people think Pennsylvania has the best boxes. And I know I've heard some people say Georgia has the worst boxes. <laughs> and I will say I've gotten absolutely amazing and absolutely trash boxes from pretty much all three of them. So it's all still just a gamble. But this one did come from Arizona. So we're gonna dive in, because it's gonna be a long video. A little bit of tissue paper on top. I don't see my receipt. Hopefully it's in there somewhere. It doesn't look super full. Like you could see there's a, a bit of a gap. That probably means there's a lot of heavy denim in here. So it's not super full. But I do see something new with tags right on top. So I'm very happy. I also just hit myself in the face. And they're actually a new tag pair of Levi's. They're the 501 skinny short, or S stands for skinny. It says 501 S here, and I guess that means skinny. I would have thought it meant short if I didn't have all these tags on it. Uh, they're a size 28. And yeah, they're a really nice wash, a really good color. They do have the button fly, but it's not exposed. You wouldn't see it once you button it up. It's hidden, which is a bit of a bummer. I do think people like that exposed button fly, especially if you're gonna have it, why not show it? Um, and they are skinny, which I will say isn't the best. It's not the worst. I know people still like to wear skinny jeans. I still wear skinny jeans a lot of the time, um, but straight leg and wide leg is really what's trendy right now, especially with like Gen Z and everything. But new with tags, I'm not gonna complain about Levi's. These do have the capital E on it, which I think with vintage means they're really expensive or like really sought after. They were $98 originally. Um, but I don't know what that means. Let me know if you know what that means. I know people look for that. All right, now we got another pair of skinny jeans. These are interesting. They have like huge jeweled embroidery on them. I think those are like bees. And then like studs all the way down. Skinny raw hem, um, not super high quality. I could just tell. They're size three, which is a junior size. And this says Denim Land Paris Collection. I have so much denim and it's somewhat hard for me to store it all. So there's definitely gonna be things that I probably won't sell. Either they go back to thread up, they go to Goodwill, they might go, if they're in good condition and not like crazy weird, might get donated to uh, the shelters once I do that. Um, but yeah, for this, it's probably gonna be a no for me. Okay, Ooh, I see another pair of Levi's. These are, again, skinny. These are size 29. These might be from the same person. Uh, this just has the zipper fly. They are in a black wash and they have rips at the knees. I'll probably try and sell these. Again, that capital E, these are the 502s. I like to sell 505s. That's about all I know about the numbering. <laughs> I also know the wedgie jean is really in. I've been trying to find a pair in my own size, but no luck. Here's a pair of Zara women's jeans. Zara used to do super well for me when I first started reselling about two years ago. Um, some of their stuff can still go for a bit, but I don't know, I haven't had the best of luck. These are just a skinny blue jean. They look to be high rise. There is a pull in them and down there. So these are probably gonna be a no for me. If they were a really good brand, if it has light pulling, I might just like note it and try and list it. But again, Zara hasn't been doing the best for me. 
He's a pair of Soho jeans. These are the legging and they're a size 10. Uh, high rise, bit of distressing, a tiny bit of pulling, but nothing bad. Soho, New York and Company. New York and Company, not yeah, great. I might stick these in my five for 25 closet. We shall see. These are Joe's jeans. And I do really like to sell Joe's jeans. They usually sell pretty well for me around $30. I do only pick them up at the bins, however. They're a size 29 and they are a dark wash. Again, skinny. So these look to be Aria jeans. I think I've gotten these before, but in like a weird pattern. Let's see if I can find anything. They're called the Chill. Do you see this cat climbing me? Would you like me to hold you? You can't go in there. Fine, just go in there. She's gonna chill in there. If she starts messing things up, I will rip her out. Um, hmm. They feel really nice. They're really stretchy. They're a nice thick jean. Um, it has this on the back. I think it's called Aria, A-Y-R, or maybe just A-Y-R, because that's what the button says. They're called the Chiller. They're designed in New York City, made in LA. A-Y-R, hmm. I'm gonna have to look it up. They do seem to be a very decent pair of jeans. I'll put up the listing if I do list them and what the brand actually is, but and again, another skinny pair of jeans. What are you doing? So these are the brand, hello. Get down, just out the box. Uh, so these are the brand So, which is not anything special, but they are a high rise mom jean. And again, a size one, which is a junior size, light wash, distressed, and it looks to be a straight leg. Mom jeans are still pretty in. These have really blown out knees. I probably will still list these. They might end up in my five for 25 or I might just list them pretty cheap, but I like the style. And that's my thing with the denim boxes. I go a lot based on style. I'll sell things even if they aren't a great brand if I like the style. I just see a lot of potential in denim and not everyone wants to spend $60 on a pair of jeans. I definitely get it. For a lot of people, it's not worth it to sell things for $15. Um, and if that's the case, mystery boxes, I just, it might not be for everyone. For me, it keeps like the price of jean low, depending on how many I keep, because I did spend $66 on this. And it will help me recoup some of my money, if not everything. And I already have them, so I might as well list them. Um, so this is a Gap Slim something, size 30. They're very rigid jeans. I can't really tell in this lighting if they're gray or like bleached out. I'll have to think a little bit more about these. Um, yeah, it could do pretty well for me as far as jeans go, but I think these would actually make some cute cutoff shorts um, for next summer. So I might hold on to these and make these into shorts since they are 100% cotton. All right, so this is old label American Eagle. All the cursive is pretty old. Um, and the tag, the tiny tag, behind the big tag will usually tell you what year. This is 2012. Uh, so older, double button, not really in style anymore. I remember when those used to be in style. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Low rise. I mean, it is making a bit of a comeback. These have a bit of pulling. Probably not going to sell these. I'm also probably not going to sell these. These are Maurice's, but they're older. I already have a pair of older Maurice's listed from the last box that haven't sold. They look a ton like these. Uh, distressing and everything. Um, I think a boot cut. It's not awful, boot cut's not out of style, but it's just, it doesn't interest me. I probably won't list it for a long time, so it's just not worth it for me to keep. This is called Vanity and I haven't heard of it, but it doesn't feel very expensive. Uh, size 27 regular. Again, another skinny jean. Uh, these seem to be in really good condition. They don't seem to have any pulling. They seem to be probably like a mid to low rise. Uh, the label in the back is split. So that'll be a maybe. All right, I do see a jean jacket, which is exciting, but it is pink. 
Uh, it's American Eagle and it's a size medium. Pretty difficult to see. It's like a salmon color. Be really cute for like a baby shower. Uh, seems to be in good condition. I'll definitely list this. I don't know how well it's gonna do. Denim that isn't blue or black or like bleached out just doesn't do super well for me. And this is from the year 2012 as well. Hopefully there's some better stuff at the bottom because it's not looking super great right now. All right, so this is Stretch Star and it's a size four. And I would totally discount these, but they're actually in like, oh, I don't know what this is. Maybe they're meant to be cuffed. Never mind. So these are actually, I don't know if they're supposed to be cuffed or what, but that's what the foot looks like. I imagine there's probably supposed to be cuffed and they have the slit in the back. I was gonna say I don't totally discount these because they are like a straight leg and they're in a cream color, which is very popular right now, uh, specifically with trousers, like a cream colored pleated trouser. But I'm gonna say no to those because I don't understand what's going on with the bottoms. Another pair of Levi's, these are the 514. These look to be like a boot cut or a flare. Slim straight. <laughs> They're the slim straight, they're size 32. They're not in great condition. I might just turn these into shorts, um, but they even have like a little bit of wear there, which isn't terrible uh, when I do cut them into shorts. I'll just note it. My cat's moving my camera, I apologize. Oh, so this is We The Free, which is free people. Um, 27 is the size. These are a distressed, Really pretty wash, straight leg jean with the frayed hem. Free people and me haven't been doing super well lately, but I do think these are really cute. They're high rise, very stylish. But yeah, really cute. I like these. These are probably my favorites so far. Hopefully they sell well. Again, free people and me just haven't been doing super well. These are a seven for all mankind, and these seem to be like new, which is great. I do not pick up seven for all mankind. The last time I did, I did pick up the dojo which is the probably most sought after. I actually saw like six pairs of dojo jeans in different sizes that day. So I think maybe a reseller or someone who's just collected them over time, donated them all. I only picked up one pair because I had never picked it up before. But these are the relaxed skinny. But yeah, they're, they're pretty much like new, which is great. Here's a pair of Levi's. This label always makes me laugh. Patch is missing in the back, which kind of sucks. Um, because that really gives to the look. These are a gray color, not great. There is a pull right there in the front. I don't even think I'd make these into shorts. These are just gonna be a no. These are Old Navy jeans, and I have done well with Old Navy in the past. I think we all know the rock stars are like their best seller. Um, this is a slim, just a slim, I guess slim straight, 30 by 30, so maybe they are men's. I was gonna say no, but if they're like actually supposed to be men's, I might sell them. They have a little bit of a bleach mark down here, but if someone's gonna use these to work in, I don't think they're that bad. Um, I'll, I might sell these. I've been in need of more men's stuff to list, so. Here's the crumpled up receipt in the middle of my box. <laughs> I will say this box was sitting in Portland for since Wednesday and today's Sunday, so like five days. So not great. So these feel like really great jeans. Oh, never mind. And in general, they are they are J brand. I can't move J brand to save my life. These are the hookup, and they, these are a size twenty seven. And I definitely would have at least listed them because they're really nice, really thick, really stretchy. Feel like new, but they have a hole right there. Now, could I fix them? No, could my mom fix them? Definitely. But since I can't even move this brand, which is a really expensive brand to begin with, I don't even wanna deal with it. All right, so this is a pair of Hollister jeans and I laugh because they have this tie up detail in the front. There are three regular, but um, also a 26. These are the High Rise Super Skinny Hollister Classic Straight. I will pick up Hollister if it's at the bins. Um, this has a raw hem. I'll probably list these. I do like the front. Gives a Y2K vibe. I'm hoping for at least like one really good brand, so. 
fingers crossed that that happens. So this is the Topshop Moto Jamie jean and it's a size 28. I do really like to sell this style of jean. I've sold it before. This is a skinny blue, mm, a little bit of wear here. You can see that it's kind of ripping there. So I probably won't sell these, which is a bummer because I think, I mean, they're not gonna sell for too much anyway, maybe 20 bucks, but that wear just isn't great. So this is another pair of Old Navy Slim, also 30 by 30. So another really like thick men's jean. This feels like a men's jean. So this is another pair of Levi's. These are the 513. These are size 33 and they have a busted knee. Don't think that was intentional. Oh, and they have right in the butt, a big old hole. So these are new. These are Venencia, never heard of it. They're a 20 petite, which is a great size. Um, and if they're in good condition, which specifically with plus size jean, you should always check the crotch people's thighs rub together and it's totally normal and it just happens to wear out jeans, especially cheap ones. I'm not saying these are cheap, but I don't know, I've never heard of it. There is a little bit of fading, you could tell, difference in color. And there is a bit of like thinning. So I'm gonna say no to these. If they were in better condition, I definitely would have listed them even if the brand isn't great. I've done that before and plus size jeans especially, they usually sell pretty quickly. These are kind of cute, Ooh, very light wash, 502 Levi's. Again, hole, pretty high up for it to be at the knee, I'd say. Uh, there's also a little hole there. I think someone must have bleached them these themselves. They're size 33 again. Um, I probably will make these into shorts. We're getting pretty close to the bottom of the box and it's not looking great. So another pair of Levi's, these are again the 502 in a size, 33 again. Um, these are in better shape. Maybe I'll make these into shorts. Levi's by themselves just have not been selling well for me. I think it's because you can find them anywhere. Everyone's selling them. Um, but the cutoff shorts were definitely a better choice for me. These are Levi's 569 size 31. They're in like a gray black, but they're, I think a sh like a, almost a wide leg, maybe like a baggy jean. I'll have to see what the 569 is supposed to be, but I'll look into those. Those are a maybe. If not, maybe I'll make them into shorts. These are Ann Taylor Loft. What size? No size. Probably why they didn't sell them. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna sell them. They're just not a great style. If they were like a plus size, I probably would, but I don't think they are. Here's a pair of ink denim boyfriend jeans and these look like they're plus size. Oh, size 18. They are an interesting style, I will say. They have that double button look and they have a lot of embroidery. I will say the crotch is in really great condition. I probably will list these. Not quite the season. All right, another pair of Old Navy. These are the Old Navy skinnies. 3630. They're a really great thick pair of denim. Um, men's, I guess. I'll sell them. Oops. Men, I feel like are less picky about brand. They know that they can get a decent pair of Old Navy jeans, so. There's that. This is Good Fellow & Co. These are also men's. These are 3630, which I think are both too big and too short for my husband. Uh, Good Fellow is just Target, um, but I will put these to the side and see if he fits in them. <sighs> A pair of Earl jeans, don't know, 31. Definitely someone cut these off at home. That's a no, those are not very cute. I'm actually surprised there isn't more shorts in here, seeing as they're off season. This is the Seven for All Mankind Roxanne jean, but there is a little bit of a tear there, which doesn't seem intentional. So these are probably gonna be a no, because I already don't do well with the brand, and if there's like some unintentional 
wear. It's really just not going to be worth it. So these are a Topshop Moto Jean also. These must be in the small size, size 25. These are, I thought these were kids jeans. These are super tiny, um, but they're in a black color. They seem to be in good shape, but for the sake of listing things, I'll probably list these maybe around 20. Okay, now we got a denim vest. I actually do like to sell denim vests. I usually pick them up at the bins, but uh, not anywhere else unless it was a really great brand. This is Forever 21 and it's a size small. Just classic. People love these for fall. They usually sell pretty fast. So this is a pair, of, this is another pair of Goodfellow jeans. These are just blue, probably the same size. If they have a size, 30 by 30, not the same size, but they're like a slim straight. They're in good condition. Again, men's, I guess I'll list it. <laughs> not for too much. And you can get kids stuff in here. I haven't yet, so. So this is gonna be a no. I get this in almost every box. It's a wax jean is the brand. Just a skinny light wash, nothing special, real cheap, not good quality. Another pair of Goodfellow. These are also a 30 by 30. These are gray. These do have more wear to them and the back patch does look like that. Um, so I think these are gonna be a no. Gray jeans in general are just like a very hard sell. So these are the 311's Shaping Levi's. Shaping Skinny Levi's, size 28. Um, and there's poles right there in the front. It's gonna be a no. Unless they're vintage Levi's, they're really just not very great. These are Gap with the pulling pretty bad right there. Size 26. But those are gonna be a no. All right, looks like we only have a few pairs left. Hoping for like the last pair to be like the best jeans. These are another pair of Levi's. These feel relatively new. They're a 514. And I think these are a men's. I mean, granted, probably like most Levi's are technically men's, well not most, but. These actually seem to be like a really good work jean. Great wash, very durable. Probably list this as men's. They're not vintage or anything, but they're really good quality. These are Ann Taylor Loft. Um, they don't have a label, but I read that on the button. They seem to be like a cropped jean, but again, new size. So it's gonna be a no. They're also pretty, like you just tell they're very worn. I think actually pretty stretched out. All right, two more pairs. These um, are Hollister, and I would give Hollister a try, but this is not the kind of ripping that we like, or distressing, I should say. It's a size one short, size 25, or width 25. All right, and these are the last pair. These are a pair of cutoff shorts that I'm sure my fiance would love. These are the 510. Someone did this themselves. They're 30, which would be too small for my husband. So I might take these and make them into cutoffs since they already are cutoffs. So yeah, was that box great? No, I would say, I mean, it's not my worst denim box I've ever gotten. It's probably about average. I usually get pretty lucky and I get at least one really great brand, which is nice because it only does cost $66. So if you get like a really nice pair of jeans or a jean jacket, you might be able to make your money back just with like one purchase. Um, but it does look like I'm keeping maybe a little bit more than half, maybe half. Uh, I'll put the number on the screen of how much I end up selling, um, including those that I'll make into cutoff shorts, which I probably won't even do until next summer. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this video. Let me know if you like these boxes. Again, I don't see a lot of people doing the denim boxes. I get it. Denim isn't for everyone. Um, and I've seen some really bad unboxing, so I'm sure that deters people. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Let me know how your sourcing and selling has been, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye!